All right, here we go. Today I'm going to be making a hardy tool holder for my anvil. So we're in the new shop, and you can see right away that I've got a few tools in here, but it's an echoey, empty mess. I'm moving in very slowly, and as I move in, I'm trying to organize. Here's the new big blue 50-ton hydraulic press, and here is my garage door on the side of the shop and as I mentioned in a video or two before this follows the slope right up the roof or the ceiling the black ceiling so throughout the shop both wood and metal were employing a French cleat system as you can see so everything will be on these movable pads this one will likely stay put this one is easier to move around wherever I need a, a wrench. I've got some more tools to organize, like these hardies. So here we go. A nice little silent film of me making a tool holder for the anvil. That sound you hear in the background is our new CNC router. The missus is in the next room figuring it out, making all the mistakes so that uh, I don't have to in the future. So the hardies measure about one inch. The hardy holes one inch. And I want between one and a quarter and one and a half inches space so they'll sit down nicely. So I'm marking these at one and a quarter, and I know when I bend them, I'm going to heat them up in the anvil and bend them in the vise, and I know that it will grow. So I'm marking them at one and a quarter, expecting in about a one and a half inch gap. I've got the anvil outside on a, on a, the pallet that the Big Blue came on to exhaust, and I've got a new carbon monoxide alarm to make sure I'm breathing cold air. In the future, the plan is to have a forge right inside the shop, but honestly, I'm trying to figure out how to best exhaust the carbon monoxide. Right now, plan A is to fabricate a hood and a chimney, like a double walled six inch pipe that goes through the roof. Another idea is to have a gable vent, but probably will go with the hood. That way if I had to do coal or solid fuel forge in the future, I'd have that ability. So here we go, here's one side. I bent it, it's an inch and a half distance between the, uh, yeah. And the next side is exactly the same. You don't need to see it. Pretty easy, heat it up, bend it over. It's kind of a caveman pounding style today. And here we go. Cleaned it all off, and now I'm gonna kinda get an eye of where I want it and grind off, get some clean metal so that I can uh, do my best to do a weld. I'm definitely not the uh, world's best welder, especially today. I may—I don't think I'm the worst. Not even the middle, but somewhere in there. It'll stick. Whoops, I lit it on fire little water will take care of that. T 
to be honest. I need to wear my glasses. I'm too old. And there you go. There you have it. A hardy tool holder. These are the only two hardy tools I have. But I expect that will change soon. I've got big plans to fill that up. Here's another little thing that I made. Helps me punch, helps me offset off the handle. Uh, the anvil when I make uh, bottle cap openers and I've been experimenting with anvil noise and ring so I'm doing this so I can listen to it later to see what sounds best to uh, to you to the subscriber when you watch the video it's getting better not too bad thanks for watching